Let's learn how to enter percentage data in Excel. Let's say we want to continue entering more information about our books in the bookstore. And the next column of information would be how much profit margin that we plan to have for each of these books. For example, for the first book, I want to set the profit margin to be 30%. That means I will be selling the book for 30% higher than the buying price for that book. To enter percentages, there are three different ways of doing it. For example, if I want to enter 30% for the first book, then I can just type in 30% and I hit enter. What happens is Excel will actually automatically assign the percentage number format from the default general number format. It will convert it automatically. So this helps us to store the data in a percentage number format so you can see the percentage displayed in the data. There are also other methods of entering the percentage information. In the, for the next book, let's say this is also 30%. And I would actually enter 0.3 and hit enter. It is still an, a number or a decimal number. So if I want to convert that into a percentage, I can go here and choose percentage. And you can see that Excel is previewing 30%. So 0.3 is nothing but 30%. And how is Excel calculating this? So 30 divided by 100 is 0.3. So if you have data in your cell that is 0.3, and if you ask Excel to convert that into a percentage number format, Excel is going to display 30%. So let's try that. And you can see here, Excel is displaying as 30%. And by default, it adds these two decimals, uh, zeros after that, but we can definitely easily control that. But what you're learning now is 0.3 is 30%. If I type in 30, and then if I change it to a percentage, it gives me a preview. It says it's 3000%. Again, keep in mind, 0.3 is 30%. And 30 is 3000%. This is very, very tricky. Uh, usually entering percentage information is a little bit trickier than some of the other number formats that we have studied before. So please pay attention to how the percentage data is entered and stored. So, so far we looked into two different methods of storing. The first thing is you would just type in the percentage as you're entering the data, like three zero percentage Excel will automatically assign the percentage format. In the second method, you would actually type in 0.3 and then change the percent number format here to a percentage and Excel will convert that and store 30% in the cell instead of 0.3. And this is one of those cases where Excel is modifying the data that you have entered, but it's still the same number, but it's storing it as a percentage. And now, the third method of entering a percentage data would be, I'm gonna delete this for now. The third method of entering information in percentage format would be, before you type the data, it's better to choose the percentage format. And then I can type in 30. And as I'm typing, you can see that Excel automatically put that percentage symbol in there because the cell is already formatted to the percentage number format. So Excel will append the percentage. And if I'm typing in 30, it is going to be 30%. These are the three ways of doing it. You can enter and type the percentage as you're entering. That's pretty straightforward. If you're entering the number first and then you're applying the conversion to the percentage number format, it should be 0.3 and then changing it to the percentage will become 30%. But if I'm pre-formatting, selecting the cell before I enter the data, if I change it to the percentage number format, then Excel doesn't want you to give decimals. Excel will take the number as it is. If I'm typing in 20%, I'm just gonna type in 20. If I want to type in 25, I just type in 25. If you're gonna type in percentage, type of data, I would recommend that you can select all the cells, change the format to percentage, and then 
type in information, whatever the percentage is. You don't need to worry about converting it into or dividing it by 100. Also, you don't need to type the percentage symbol every time. Excel will automatically put it. So my recommendation would be pre-format the cell. Select the cells, apply the percentage format before you enter the data. That should be easier for you to enter percentage data. Just like the number format, you can control the number of decimal places you have in your percentage. You can go to the format cells dialog box and change the decimal places just like you could do for the other types. Also, I'm gonna cancel out. You can also use this increase and decreasing decimals to control the number of decimal places that you wanna show in your data.